In this channel tutorial, we'll take a look at how to correctly categorize your product. Categorization is important because it lets your customers quickly and effectively find your products on the various export channels. There are a few ways to categorize your products within Chanable. The first way to add categories includes adding them one by one. What this means is taking, for instance, if the field title contains the value um, t-shirt, then we can use to set it to a Google specific category, for instance, shirt. So you could see apparel and accessories, clothing, shirts and tops. Uh, we can add as many categories as needed. For instance, if title contains jeans, we can add it to a specific Google shopping category, uh, pants, uh, and so on until uh, we complete all the categories. You can always save the categories and see on the right hand side exactly how many of your products have already been set to a category. What you can do is uh, click on without categories and your products without a category will be displayed. We can see here that for instance trousers and tights um, have not been placed into a category yet so we would have to go back and manually generate the trousers category. The second way to categorize your products includes generating them automatically. What you can do is um, I would just go ahead and delete them and click right on generate categories. You can use a specific field, you can use for instance product category and click on generate. What this would do is automatically generate your categories based on uh, your product category field. All you would have to do is click on the Google specific category and set it to that. You can also at any time click on save categories and on the right hand side see exactly how many of your products have been put into a category. In order to set up the last uh, category uh, we would have to create a rule. We can click on the rules tab click on new rule, we can title it category, click on create and we can take our category internal which is the category that we previously set in the categories tab and we can say if this category internal is empty we can take the category internal field select the action set to category and set a more general category to fill in the rest of the products. For instance we can say uh, apparel and accessories. Save the rule and you can see that the remaining percentage of products will be set into the more general category apparel and accessories. This concludes the ways of categorizing your products Thank you for watching.